Why would anyone put their arm into a tank filled with hungry mosquitoes in New Mexico? Basically, I was waiting for them to bite my arm. Based on information gathered from school children growing up in 1930s Ireland. It's all because of an innovative project which brings local law to the lab. In County Offaly, scientists from Trinity College Dublin search for one particular bogland species. So this beautiful little plant is called bog myrtle and it produces the most beautiful um, oil, a chemical oil in the leaves and in these little buds. Now this oil is really interesting because it's believed to repel insects. And so farmers used to put some of it in their, in their coats or, you know, to keep the midges away from around their faces. We know how people once used native bog plants because of archives like this. A database called Ducas. This collection of folklore was compiled by thousands of school children in Ireland in the 1930s. And there are several references to bog myrtle. Got a lot of kind of accounts of it being used for insect repellent, so that's why we knew that if we maybe continued testing with it, that we might be in store for some good results. Over several months, the Trinity team extracted oil from multiple samples of bog myrtle. Laboratory testing was carried out in New Mexico, in the US, mosquitoes and all. Every day I was there, I would put the lotion on my arm and I would stick my arm into a cage filled with uh, 25 of these mosquitoes, which we'd starve overnight as well for about 12 hours. So they were really hungry. And basically I was waiting for them to bite my arm with the lotion on it. So we were recording how long it would, how long the oil would last as a repellent on your skin before um, a mosquito would be tempted enough to bite you. Initial results have been encouraging. The overall kind of statement is that uh, bog myrtle is an insect repellent. It's known to have a better repellency from my test than citronella from what they tested for their citronella results over there. So that was a very promising result. Further tests will now be carried out, but it's hoped it will be possible to create a viable product. That would be good news for the scientists and for farmers who have bog myrtle on their land. It could also change perceptions around the unique importance and potential of Irish bogs. These are our treasures and we have the gift as scientists now of actually being given the opportunity to explore the science behind them. And as I say, if we find it, hopefully we can empower communities in, you know, in the areas where they have boglands to, to, to benefit from any discoveries that come from the work that we're doing.